Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, in this video, we will show you the venous drainage of this stomach. And uh, without any further ado, let us get started. Veins of this stomach correspond to the arteries of this stomach and they drain directly or indirectly into the portal vein. We saw in our previous video that the stomach is supplied by the left gastric artery, so its corresponding vein is the left gastric vein. Then we have the right gastric artery and its corresponding vein is the right gastric vein. And then there is a short gastric artery and the corresponding vein is the short gastric vein. Then we have the left gastroepiploic artery whose corresponding vein is obviously the left gastroepiploic vein. And the stomach is also supplied by the right gastroepiploic artery whose corresponding vein is the right gastroepiploic vein. Here, the gastroepiploic veins are also known as the gastroomental veins. That means they supply the stomach and also the omentum. We have another vein that is the prepyloric vein of Mayo. So this is the vein you can see here. This is a small vein in front of the pylorus. So the prepyloric vein, I mean the vein which is situated in front of the pylorus. So this is the one. And I want to share a little interesting fact about this prepyloric vein of Mayo. This is the small vein situated in front of the pylorus. That is why it is named as the prepyloric vein. And it is also named after the famous American surgeon, Dr. Charles Mayo, one of the founders of the Mayo Clinic. He made a significant contribution to the field of surgery. Along with his brother, Dr. William Mayo, and their father, they established what became one of the most famous medical institutions in the world. And this vein is significant in the surgery because it serves as a consistent anatomical landmark. During surgical procedures like gastrectomy or pyloroplasty, uh, the prepyloric vein of Mayo can help the surgeons to locate the pylorus accurately. This vein is called the prepyloric vein of Mayo in recognition of the Dr. Mayo's contributions to surgery and uh, because of its location near the pylorus. So that is all and uh, so finally we have the left gastric vein, the right gastric vein, the short gastric vein, the left gastropeploic vein, the right gastropeploic vein and also the prepyloric vein of Mayo. And all of these veins directly or indirectly drain into the portal vein. Now let us see how the portal vein is formed. Portal vein is formed by the union of the splenic vein and the superior mesenteric vein. These two veins together form the portal vein behind the neck of the pancreas. So this is the pancreas you can see and um, it has the head, neck, body and the tail. This is the splenic vein which is coming from the spleen and this is the superior mesenteric vein which actually collects the blood from the intestine so the supermesenteric vein and the splenic vein and we can see that they have united with each other behind the neck of the pancreas so behind the neck of the pancreas we can see the site of union so these two veins together are forming the portal vein so this is the portal vein and all the veins of the stomach directly or indirectly drain into this portal vein Another way I can say that uh, the gastric veins ultimately drain into the portal vein directly and some of them uh, drain into the splenic vein or the supermesenteric vein and then ultimately drains into the portal vein. So that is the indirect drainage. So now I'm going to uh, elaborate the venous drainage for you so that you can have a clear understanding and a clear picture of this venous drainage. So first we have the left gastric vein. This vein runs along the lesser curvature of the stomach and they collect the blood from the stomach's upper region. And this vein, we can see that it directly drains into the portal vein. The next one is the right gastric vein. It follows the lesser curvature as well, but on the lower side. So it is collecting on the blood from this region and then drains into the portal vein directly. So these two veins, uh, we can see that uh, they drain into the portal vein directly. Now let us move to the short gastric veins. These veins collect blood from the fundus of the stomach and then drain into the splenic vein. 
so these are the short gastric vein we can see and um, they're collecting blood from this fundus and they drain into the splenic vein and then the splenic vein then drains into the portal vein so the short gastric vein they do not directly drain into the portal vein but they first drain into the splenic vein which is carrying the blood to the portal vein so these veins are draining into the portal vein indirectly then the left gastroepiploic vein it drains blood from the greater curvature of the stomach and also similar to the uh, short gastric vein they drain into the splenic vein which ultimately drain into the portal vein that means the left gastroepiploic vein also drains into the portal vein indirectly then the right gastroepiploic vein it runs along the greater curvature on the lower side of the stomach collecting blood from this area uh, then it drains its blood into the superior mesenteric vein which then uh, drains into the portal vein so the right gastropublic vein is again uh, draining into the portal vein indirectly i mean through the superior mesenteric vein finally we have the prepyloric vein of myo which drains this area near the pylorus and typically empties into the portal vein directly and sometimes it drains into the right gastric vein which again drains into the portal vein I mean the indirect drainage so this vein drains into the portal vein directly or indirectly in this video we showed you how the uh, left gastric vein and the right gastric vein they are draining into the portal vein directly then we also showed you how the short gastric vein then the left gastroepiploic vein and the right gastroepiploic vein they are draining into the portal vein indirectly and we have the prepyloric vein of myo which uh, uh, drains into the portal vein directly or indirectly so these are the venous drainage of the stomach and understanding these veins are essential not just just for anatomy exams but also for the clinical practice as well let us discuss a few clinical correlations one important condition related to the venous drainage is portal hypertension often seen in liver cirrhosis increased pressure in the portal vein can cause the blood to pack up in these gastric veins leading to the gastric varices varices means the tortuous dilated blood vessels so when these gastric veins are dilated they are termed as the gastric varices. These varices can bleed, causing a serious condition known as the upper GI bleeding. I mean upper gastrointestinal bleeding. Another condition is gastritis. That means the inflammation of the stomach. It can affect the veins of the stomach. Chronic inflammation can disrupt the normal blood flow and lead to the congestion of the gastric veins, exacerbating the symptoms and potentially leading to the complications. So that is why understanding the venous drainage is very important and not for just your examination but also for the clinical practice as well. But in this video I'm not going to discuss about the gastric varices or um, the gastritis in details. I'll have a separate video on these conditions and um, in this video I just tried to show you the uh, venous drainage of the stomach. And that's a wrap on the venous drainage of the stomach. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did then make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more educational contents. If you have any questions or uh, topics that you'd like us to cover then drop them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next time. Till then take care and goodbye.